What is up everybody, my name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're going to be learning how to create a JavaScript powered scroll percentage scroll bar. So as you can see here, as I scroll down the page, it kind of tells me, well it tells me exactly where we are at, on the page at any spot specific moment or wherever we have scrolled to so as I scroll down you can see it updates and uh, goes back down so we're just gonna be using a simple percentage uh, formula using calculating the height of the page and the how far we've scrolled so without further ado let's get started The first thing we need to do is create a folder um, of your whatever you want to uh, call it and we're going to open it up in whatever text editor you wish to use. So I'm just going to drag this down because I have a text editor right here and as you can see we've just got this empty fo folder. Now what we need to do is go into tut progress and just call it an index.html so we're creating a new file. I'm going to copy and paste the HTML because it's not required for this tutorial to actually know. It's literally just, I'll quickly go through it, but it's a simple doc type with a head, um, standard metadata, progress bar. It links in the CSS, as you can see here, so please take note of that. And at the bottom of the page, we also link in the main script, so the JavaScript file we're going to create. Now, if we go up here, you can see we have a header. We have an article and inside the in header we have the progress bar. Now this is the, mo the most important component. Obviously this is the thing we're doing. So what we're doing is we're creating a progress bar outer element which is going to be the black area here. And then we're creating the progress inner with a uh, value inside. So as you can see here this is the value. And as we scroll you can see this value stays in the center and follows uh, this all the way to the end as we scroll and it's a very smooth scroll as well as you can see there's no cheering no jumping nothing like that um, it worked differently on different browsers as I said Firefox and stuff like that may uh, look slightly different but most of it generically will look the exact same so let's save that and let's create our next folder which is main or file which is main.css now once again I'm going to paste the CSS because again it's not a CSS tutorial but I will quickly go over the progress bar and how we're working this here so we'll start from the header. So we've just got a simple header that is position sticky. So when we scroll, it will stay stuck to the top of the page, but not affect how the page or the layout of the page is structured. Um, so we're just going to add padding of 15 pixels there um, and center the whole thing. So that's how the header is. So this this white box here. With um, the progress bar, you can see we've set to position absolute and we're pushing it from the top 100%. So that's the top of the header component. We're pushing it all the way down 100%, so it, the top of the progress bar sits at the bottom of the header. We're then giving it left of zero and width of 100% and a, back, a dark background color. So that's where this black bar comes from. We then get the inner progress bar and we set it to position relative. We just give it a width of zero a padding of zero and a background color of yellow. We then give it a color of white because the text obviously won't show up if it's black on the black or black on the gray. Um, so as you can see there, that is how that works. And then we've just got a bunch of uh, stuff to do with the um, uh, the page CSS. So just simple things like how we've centered it all and basically made it as long as possible, the content. Um, and that's all going in here. Um, all this uh, CSS and HTML will be available in the GitHub repo. You can find that link in the description of this video. So let's get into the actual part, the fun part, the JavaScript. So what the first thing we'll do is obviously create the file. We'll just call it main.js. Now make sure what you're linking here at the bottom of the page is your uh, JavaScript file. And then inside of here, we just want to make sure everything is loaded. So we're going to say document dot add events listener now what this does is basically we we check the document which is the uh, dom as it's known in uh, javascript um and we're just going to add an a, a lit event listener this could be a click this could be anything but what we want is dom content loaded now what this means is this will run as soon as everything has loaded not including images or media um, so only structure and other things. So any external links will not count, but only the structure, the HTML and stuff like that. This will then run. We then want to, once this is run, that means once this is completed, that means our uh, progress bar has been rendered to the page. So what we want to do is get the value of that. So we're going to say const progress bar, and we're just going to get the inner. 
uh, we don't need a underscore there and we'll set this to a document dot query selector and we're just going to get the we're going to pass through the class here so the progress bar inner I'm just going to copy that go into main and do dot progress bar inner let's just shrink this in we don't actually need this sidebar anymore I'm just going to shut it completely I'll also zoom in one just so you can see it a little bit easier um, and we've got the progress bar inner perfect now we need to get a well we need to add enough for a fence listener but this time to the window the window is actually the screen we see here um, and obviously it's what we scroll so we need to basically listen for when we scroll on the window we just want to give it a function and the function we're going to pass through is going to be our formula so we need to get one one of uh, a few things we need to get h which is equal to document dot document element or if that's not available it's going to be document dot body we then want to say let st equal or actually so we don't want document body here uh, we'll do this separately because we don't actually need it for the first part so we're going to st which stands for scroll top equal h which is our document element dot scroll top or document dot body dot scroll top now what we're doing here so let's just explain this so we've got the document element um, we're then getting the st which is the scroll top so the how far we've scrolled from the top of the page which is going to be our document element dot scroll top but if that doesn't exist, meaning if this isn't actually um, exists, because for different browsers you have to use different things, this is why we're doing the or statement. We're going to check for document dot body scroll top. So the first one we want is obviously h dot scroll top, which will work in Chrome, Firefox, stuff like that. And then document dot body is more for IE and the other stuff. Um, we're then going to get let sh, which is going to be equal to the page's height or the document's height. We're going to say scroll height or again document dot body dot scroll height so what we're doing here is we're just trying to get the scroll height so we're getting the uh, chrome firefox way and then a fallback version in case this does not exist um, we're then going to get the actual percentage so this is where we calculate the percentage uh, we're just going to say st scroll top divided by and then we need to do scroll height minus h dot client height times by a hundred so the client height is obviously the height of the window whereas uh, the scroll height is the height of the whole page and what we're doing there is we're basically just calculating what the maximum scroll height of the page is we need to minus the height of the client because of the scroll top will be at the top so we need to minus this part of the page where we've scrolled here and then we need to times it by 100, which is a standard percentage calculator. So we get the current position or the value where we're at. We then divide it by the maximum, which is obviously the top of the page, the bottom of the page, sorry. And then we times it by 100, which gives us a percentage. Now, what we can do with this percentage is we can round it to be an actual number. But first, let's just console.log percent. Now, I just we're going to stop the uh, for surfer and then on the left here I'm going to right click this and click open with live surfer but you might not have this extension if you use VS code so go into your left here um, and then you can install a new plugin so it's actually sorry let's just drop this we can type in here live share or live surfer by Ritwick day and if you install this plugin, as you can see here, or extension, you'll be able to use this live surf surfer feature I'm about to use here. So let's just minimize this sidebar again. So right click this, oops, sorry, in the document, right click the um, index.html and click open with live surfer. And this, as you can see over here, if we close this, loads up the live server. Now the progress bar doesn't work here, but the page is styled. So let's inspect this. Go on the right, but as you can see, as you can scroll, you get a percentage you go from zero down here all the way up to a hundred percent now this obviously um, this is obviously great but it's not rounded 
and we kind of need it to be rounded for when we display this number here. Else if we didn't, if we just went progress bar inner dot inner text is equal to percent save as you scroll you can see that number changes but it looks kind of ugly and we don't want all those extra numbers we just need to know the rounded value so what we're going to do is we're going to say let rounded percent equal and we're just going to say math dot round percent as you can see that is straightforward and if we pass this we refresh and we scroll you can see it goes up in whole numbers and not floats or doubles it's just a complete whole number which is perfect that's what we need but we also need to set the width of this so progress by inner dot style dot well, not get class name dot style dot width is equal to percent now we don't want to do it the rounded percent well you can do this i'll show you the difference in a second but we're going to set it to percent style because it gives us a nice smooth if it works that is oh we need to add on percent we also need to add on percent here because obviously this is going to be the percentage value so now we actually have this so as we scroll you can see it changes which is great it looks good and you can see it's super smooth but i'm going to show you another way to quickly do this so instead of using a smoothed out percent we can actually use the rounded percent to percent here or sorry the non-smoothed we can use this smooth version which will actually give you a really accurate percentage so before it wasn't very accurate because it was it was going in decimal places but now it is less accurate well sorry before this one is more accurate as you can see it snaps to the actual position you're on on the page once you reach it whereas the other one this one is now complete to the decimal to the float to the uh, decimal place so it's matching it perfectly which actually gives it a much smoother effect but some people might not want the smooth effect some people might want the snapping effect um, because it matches what the number is here exactly um, which is obviously more accurate but it doesn't look as cool and i think it's actually personally more ac the bar is more accurate when we use this one of course but there you go so that as you can see it's a perfectly percentaged or scroll <laughs> percentage scrolling bar scroll percentage bar however you want to call it <laughs> in javascript and it's only 16 lines and if you move out half of these and you could actually probably pull it in way less lines you get it down to 12 lines but you could probably get that even smaller and that is super compact and super easy to use and it works in almost any situation but for now guys i hope you enjoyed this video it was a fun little easy tutorial um we've only just got back i've been away for a little bit i explained that on my uh, community page earlier today or yesterday i don't know when i'll post this video but anyway guys thank you for watching this video it's been awesome keep cool see you later peace out